Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are here. We're testing the, uh, the prototype for the 4122 and we're going to be doing a reaction video. <laughs> they don't call it rigging for nothing. Hey Kevin, you want a D-ring? <laughs> Look at that D-ring. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous, Nemo? <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I want this to pass. I was so sure last time. <laughs> yeah, we were so sure last time. Alright Nips. Alright, so we're taking a look at the shackle. We're hold we held it at 15,000 pounds for a minute to simulate winching loads, uh, maximum winching loads. And uh, we're just checking to see if it's deformed at all. Yeah. yeah, it looks solid. It looks solid. And we held it at 15,000 pounds, which is what we're gonna set as the maximum uh, working load. Alright, All right. yeah. Good. Looks good. Have to rig it. <laughs> Alright, okay, breaking time. Yeah. It's still recording? Yeah. yeah. It takes a while to get to 10 and then it just goes so fast. Look at Nemo. Look, look sweaty, man. Look at, we're gonna go to final exam or something? <laughs> and he didn't study and he, he forgot study. to get dressed He's and he's cramming. naked. <laughs> it's like the worst nightmare. What 
put the caps on your freaking like tires. It looks we're stupid. We're testing the rating for uh, winch shackle, right? <laughs> yes, the the shackle hook. Shackle hook. Shackle hook. No. Oh, oh, shackle. Wind shackle. Wind shackle. We're testing the wind shackle, guys. Got me all messed up. It's Kevin's fault. <laughs> no, I'm just nervous. That's why. <laughs> Dude, I didn't realize this is going to be exciting and uh, low key fun, you know? Yeah. Putting on a new D ring. And we're going to go for round two of the uh, first prototype. Reaction video. Huh. <laughs> hey, we should make any example. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna be uh, taking you know, bets. Taking bets. Uh, I'm betting on breaking point to be 55,000. Camilla? 50,000. 40,000. 40,000. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being conservative. I'm being conservative. 40,000. Alright. Oh, I can see the crowd. Alright. So this is the first one. Maybe broke it. This one's a heat treated 17.4. That's stainless, but not heat treated. I don't have anything. So this is a heat treated 17.4 5 eighths pin. Can you make that one fit into that? No, it's that's half inch. I should have gone three five eighths on that one. But this one is like most likely gonna work, but like we don't want to make it that big. No, no. So what we're gonna do is like if this breaks like 60,000 pounds, mm -hmm. we know that 40,000 would be easy. I know the 40,000 on that five eighths. That would be fine. It was the pin that broke. Yeah. Treat, this is that's a half inch non heat treated pin. That. Oh, okay. Yeah. Still warm. Is it? Yeah. Much hot. Grab that. Oh, sorry. I couldn't tell because I got. Oh no! Down. No worries. No worries. It's, it's still warm. It's just warm. Ah. So, no. We're gonna tell, we're gonna do this one. All right. So we're gonna do this one. It's gonna it's gonna kind of stop at the end, but you wanna you wanna hammer it in a little bit. What's our goal for a breaking point? Nick? Our goal is like forty thousand pounds. Forty thousand, which is much more like three or four times more than anyone will ever use winching. But just for a safety margin, we want it where nothing of ours will ever break. Yeah. Wait, 
no one's gonna, I mean, we rated at 15,000, and no one should use it past that. They'll probably break their receiver, or shear the bolts on their receiver, depending that's on what right. vehicle they use it on before they even get to that point. That's right. Yeah. That's right. In 15,000. that's what you want, you know? Yeah. That's yeah. what you want. Yeah. So, look, I mean, the pin did, the pin did his job. You know? Yeah. So. So, I think, yeah, next time uh, when we retest, we should do, like, uh, heat treated. Mm -hmm. And uh, do we still want to try to do it at the half inch, or should we go back to 5A? I think we go 5A. Okay. It's not just for that, but it's for perception, customer perception too. Because most of the industry they're using 5A's, okay, the right? And it looks, the half inch looks tiny. Even if it'll hold that, it's perception too. Yeah, I see all the cracks in my camera. <laughs> <laughs> she without the lens covers. Yeah, 5A, 724 heat treated pin. So that should that should not deform at all. Yeah, it should work to the very end. Ten thousand pounds. He doesn't have enough space, enough space on this side. All right. So what I'm going to do in the next one, I'm going to, I'm going to, because I want this, I want this gap to be here. So I'll, I'll cut in more here. Yeah. Right? Just, just for the sake of the testing. Yeah. I, was, I, I was, when I made that, because we were in a rush, I was thinking I was like, maybe he doesn't have enough to go in there. But if I cut more in here, that's not going to weaken it because all the load is right here that's and through, right. through here. Anyway. And as of right now, like you see, like I said before, the yeah. pin already bended. Yeah. So even though if he wants to find something stronger right now, yeah. the pin was already bent. Yeah. Yeah. We'll give it probably an extra three to five thousand. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. I'm telling you, when people see this, yeah. you're using the product and you see the pin is bent. That's when they should say, hey, that's a good five. They yeah. see that. Instead of breaking, yeah. it bends. So that's what people want to see, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. But at least I want to see. If yeah. there's something that snaps, I want to see it bend or deform. Oh, most definitely, yeah. 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 Great. Thank you. OK. Um, I'll call you either tomorrow. We broke like, their shackles. We yeah. broke all their stuff. But um, but our shackle didn't break. So standing. Oh, that broke. Yeah. Yeah. We should back off in the first test. 
Dude, this is a pretty good number, high number still, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we, we finished uh, testing it. Um, unfortunately, they don't have a shackle uh, strong enough to, to, to break our, our shackle all the way. We did pin, we did bend the 17-4 stainless pin, 5 8 pin, uh, slightly, which is a good sign because then it shows that the user that, okay, it's time to put in a new pin. It's, you pulled it to the maximum load. But this this pin bent, bent and that shackle broke at 41,000, over 41,000 pounds. And there's no deformation at all on our, our shackle. So I think it's a success. It's a success, right? What do you think? <laughs> it is a success. We just need a better pin. <laughs> so it broke at 40,000. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you mean you lose? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please stay tuned for 4122 product. We'll be hitting up the market soon. Alright, peace.